Hello and welcome back to Science Bug by Poonam Singh. Here is the full video on springtime in New York which you have been waiting for. This video has a beautiful coverage of different varieties of flowers that sprung up during this season. This video shows actual site pictures and clips taken by me during my visit to New York last month. New York City roadsides were blooming with immense varieties of tulips, iris, hyacinths, hydrangea, dandelion, primroses, aliums, narcissus and so on. Some of these varieties I happen to see very closely at Met Cloister's garden. This is me at Met Cloister's garden. Met Cloisters is a museum specializing in European medieval art and architecture. Most of the varieties of flowers that you find in Met Cloisters garden have been taken from the book of flowers which is kept as a manuscript in the Met Cloisters museum. Here are a few glimpses of the magnificent Met Cloisters building and the garden. Spring in New York begins in mid-March and lasts till mid-June. The most abundant flower that you find in New York is the tulip. So first let's know something about the flower tulip. There may be double tulips like tulip spectacle, tulip angelic, or there may be single tulips like Tulip Barcelona, Tulip Purple Dream, Tulip Moonlight Girl. Double tulip means that it's a double petaled blossom, so it's more puffy and fluffy. Tulips grow well in moist but well-drained soil in full sun. Tulips are mostly perennial, but they act as annuals as we can't get repeat blossoms season after season and their bulbs have to be grown every year. The tulips reach a height of about 1 to 2 feet. The bulbs of tulips are pre-chilled for about 10 weeks at 40 to 45 degree Fahrenheit before planting in the soil. Now let's walk through the garden. These deep violet purple Puffy flowers that you see here are the tulip blue spectacles. These flowers are quite abundant at this garden. These are fully double puffy late spring tulips. These are called double because they have double rows of vibrant violet blue petals as you can see here. These tulip blue spectacles are grown by bulbs. As we move further, we see these purple dream tulips. These are probably one of the finest lily flower tulips. This tulip looks like a goblet as the petals taper or reflects to pointed tips. On sunny days, they open wide to re reveal glistening white centers. Now here you see a cluster of hot fuchsia cup shaped flowers which are called tulip barcelona and adjacent to tulip barcelona you see yellowish flowers which are called tulip moonlight girl. I'll tell you about each one of them in detail now. The tulip barcelona, the common name of tulip barcelona is triumph tulip. These are perennial grown as annual Bloom time is April May, height goes up to 60 centimeters, and these make up the largest group of tulips and the one that offers widest range of colors. And these are single late spring tulips. And in a similar way, these yellow moonlight girl tulip are also single late spring tul tulips and they are goblet shaped flowers. It is an upright bulbous perennial flower which opens up and turns a creamy white as it matures. It is a well proportioned tulip, height goes up to 55 centimeters and as you can see the leaves are broad lens shaped uh, green leaves and next to these 
yellow tulip moonlight girl flowers is a fantastic view of the most elegant tulip called tulip angelic. Its bloom time is late April, grows best in moist, well-drained soil in full sun. It's a double tulip and perennial, grows by bulbs. The height goes from 1 foot to 2 feet. It's an award-winning tulip and it's America's favorite and also my favorite. Here you can see me in the pic sitting with my favorite tulip, the tulip angelic. Now here you see hidden among the tulip angelic some four or five small purple grape like flowers. They are called grape hyacinths. They are almost seen at the ground level. The scientific name is Mescari armeniacum and they belong to the family Asparagaceae. These are perennial bulbous, comes in different colors like blue, purple, white, yellow. Looks like a cross between a bunch of grapes and miniature hyacinths. In this pic here you can see a close-up of the grape hyacinth and this bottled grape hyacinth was kept on a table in the corridors of the garden. And these grape hyacinths achieve a height of about 20 centimeters and they attract a wide range of pollinators like bees because these hyacinths provide them with an easy source of pollen and nectar. Now before we see some more flowers, let's quickly check out some facts some interesting facts about tulips. Tulips belong to the genus Tulipa, which has about 100 species. Tulips belong to the family Liliaceae. Tulips are also called bulbous herbs. All tulips have a perianth composed of six petals and six sepals. Many tulips smell grassy green, that is apple-like aroma. Tulips grow in spring season, early, mid and late. Up to five bulbs can grow out of a single mother bulb. Now here you see some white flowers. It is Narcissus pueblo. These white star-shaped flowers open with a milky white perianth. As you can see in the video, these are funnel shaped. These are perennial plants which belong to the family Amaryllidaceae. Narcissus is a bulbous plant which bloom in spring. Narcissus is the Latin name or botanical name for daffodils. Most cultures celebrate Narcissus as a symbol of hope and joy. Now here you see a beautiful cluster of white flowers. This is Iberus semper virens. Iberus semper virens is commonly known as candy tuft or perennial candy tuft. It belongs to the family Brassicaceae and it is mostly used as an ornamental garden shrub. Its height goes from 6 inches to 1 foot. It prefers full to partial sun and dry to moderate moisture. Requires slightly alkaline soil. Interspersed between these tulips, tulip purple dream and tulip blue spectacle are some white flowers that you see here. These small white flowers are primroses or primula is the botanical name. They belong to the family Primulaceae. They, they come in different colors, red, pink, orange, yellow, blue, purple and so on. These are perennial herbs and the primrose means first rose in Latin. And they are one of the first rose-like flowers to appear but they do not belong to the rose family. This is a close-up of white primroses. These white primroses have mild sweet smell. And they can be eaten raw in vegetable or fruit salad or cooked as vegetable. This is the picture of a table kept in the corridors of the Met Cloisters garden. It contains the samples of flowers which are grown in Met Cloisters garden. I hope you can identify a few of them by now. Hope you enjoyed the video viewers. Here I leave you with a question. Here you see some clusters of numerous cup shaped florets. These florets look like dart balls if you see the close up. I leave, leave you with this question that try to find out the name of this flower and put it in the comment box. Thank you so much for watching viewers. Please like and subscribe my channel Science Bug by Poonam Singh if you really like my videos.